All right, we got something peeking out here. Totally fingers crossed. I've walked a long way to get here. Nobody ever said it was easy, but maybe it's fixing to pay off here. Let's see, come on now. Oh, it's got a little tension to it. Come on, dude, come on. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Check him out. I will definitely take it. Not too bad. See, just a little bit of cortex right there, maybe. Kind of flat side and a raised side here. <clears throat> a couple steps over. Let's see right here. A friend of mine said, a friend of mine, Kevin, says, if it's Dover, flip it over. Let's see. If he's right. Oh yeah, he's right. If it's Dover, flip it over. Thanks for the tip, Kevin. There's two hiding out. Let's see. Man, it looks broke on that end. Well, wait a second. Head upside down. It looks like that might be the base. With a broken tip. All right, pretty sure this one's broke. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, it's a middle, but thick dude with some pretty neat working down the side of it, anyway. All right, we're back at the workbench for a cleanup here. I think this was the first one I found. And a couple steps later, found this guy. There's that piece right there. It looks like a benton. Here's another piece I didn't film. Looks like I got hit by a disc or something. I don't think that's intentionally a bifurcated point. I think it's just chipped that way. There's that rough woodland looking something there. Piece of Dover. Here's a turkey tail from the other day that I found. Broke. A little thumb scraper. Worked around there on a the flake. Another cool tool. Pretty heavy. Maybe quartz. But anyway, not a bad little hunt there. 